Welcome back once more to Poland Lithuania, where we once again find ourselves having to appease the communists and the socialists that are rife in our country. And this time we will restrict child labor, and this for two reasons. Sure, it's a nice factory out throughput and RDU output and stuff like that boost, but education efficiency minus 10%, considering we need to educate our populace basically. Uh, I, I feel it's... we could probably just go for RDU output plus 5% and stuff like that. So we will restrict child labor for the world to see. Perhaps this should finally put the communists to rest. There's no need for them to exist anymore. Holy shit. The Luanguese nationalists, however, they are not very happy. I mean, sure, we did conquer their territory very, very... Well, not a long time ago, <laughs> essentially. Are they are attacking Gilady and failing? That's quite majestic. Serbia! Interesting, you were in an alliance before and you actually helped out a bit. We will we will have an alliance with you, as long as you don't call us into a simple or stupid war. I mean, honestly, I'm not too big of a fan of the reactionaries, but the reactionaries are not very strong, and that event that we just popped recently would calm them down a little bit in at least that territory. Oh, it's the infamy that is causing most of the problem. Oh, infamy. Well, that is true. We do actually have quite a bit of infamy. So we should probably try to deal with that. One, I, I actually played not too long ago. Uh, it was uh, Victoria... No, wait. What's Victoria? Euro Europa Universal is free. And one thing that I, that I was missing when uh, playing this now with infamy and stuff like that is uh, the ability to get advisors that reduces infamy. It would be very helpful to have in this game as well. So if they would ever feel like adding it that in to something, then sure. Oh, speaking of adding things in. No, that's not going anywhere really. But anyway, I mentioned last episode that I have been want or that I want to try out the Divergences of Darkness mod. So I would like to serve you all on which country should I play as? I I haven't really looked at the map. I don't know if things have changed if the starting setup is vastly different, you know, a bit like this mod is. So, um, any interesting starting locations, any interesting nations, preferably something that I haven't played in previous playthroughs, so let me know and I'll, you know, consider it and things like that. Could be pretty fun. Let's see what that mod has to offer. We should probably add more colonial troops here in the colonial lands. We have this 30,000 men army done, we can add another one. Five, three, one, and one. Five, three, one, one. A brilliant way. Unable to colonize, that is true. How many do we have free? Available 13. Power tied up in maintenance? A lot. A hell of a lot. We can get some commerce raiders. Wouldn't really make much of a difference, but we can. I like that Suez is technically part of the Near East here, so it's in a different category, which is pretty funny. It's not part of Africa or, you know, like this port is vastly different from this port. It's on different continents. It's so, so very, very close. Once again, I would like to be able to set up my own regions and stuff like that for purposes of making units. But... That's nitpicking. Uh, do, 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 do. Anything with it? No, nothing with industry that we can do. Silly liberals. Actually, the only thing we can do now is waiting. How fun. But we only have a little bit of works also in left. It should take maybe two years to clear it all up. And then we are ready to expand. We could try to take Gilead before the French have any opportunity to send reinforcements over here and do it. Like, usurp it, essentially. That could be pretty good. We have an army here ready to strike. Well, it, it will soon be ready to strike. And then we could take Margitine as well. If we were really adventurous, we could even attack... F <coughs> oh, I lost my voice there. That's terrible. I need to cut that out. If I don't... If I miss to cut it out, I'm, I apologize. No. German... Fed... Wait, what? What is happening? 
North German Federation, in association with Sweden, is trying to liberate us boys. Well, crap. We do actually have quite a few friends on our side, and technically, according to this game, we are stronger than them. So I suppose that's fine. I just did not see that one coming. We even have Switzerland to help us out. They don't even ha we don't even have a border to them. Yet they will they're trying Why do you hate me so much? We have freed you, you sons of bitches. Let us through. Ah oh, come on. That's just mean. Okay, we can't really go through Prussia either, so we really can't get to our enemy. We can't help, for example, Switzerland. Because we can't get to the enemy. And that is not good. I want to be able to help my friends. Uh, the North Germans, unfortunately, will probably be able to get to me. And we helped them. We were allied to them while they were unifying their stupid country. Which is not good. We failed. And now, once again, the whole thing about blockades will erupt as Sweden is being a bitch. They will not accept. They will accept my friends, though, to march through to their death since they won't have me to help them out. So that's not good. I mean, sure, Galicia alone media, that's a sizable force. 35,000 men, that's nothing to sneeze at, really. However, there's nothing compared to the German war machine, ma machine that is spinning into fire up. Plus they have called in all their mobilizations and reserves and whatnot. And they are actually sending a ton of men. I wonder what they're hoping to achieve. Sweden! I'm sorry, you will die. We can't be bothered to deal with you, Sweden. Wait, why is it going so bad again? Is there a particular reason for this? Well, they are dug in. Now they're not. So you should be better. Yeah, now it's going better. The Swedes are marching through Russia, who also hates us. Everyone hates us. This is what's going to happen here with, with Germany as well. They're going to march through Prussia unopposed. There we go. Well, we can get some additional reinforcements there. Sweden just sending a ton of men here. Holy shit. Send some extra men to help out. Wilhelm reads the Smeagol. Smeagol, yeah. There we are. And suddenly things went going, were going extremely bad when we sent additional support. That's not good. They have expanded by liberating Westpoisen as well. This is a fight for our lives. Fight for Swedish independence. Why are we talking about Sweden? A fight for Polish independence. We will not let them crush us. Holy shit, Sweden. Stop sending all your men to this war. What the hell? How much are they paying you? I will double it. Actually, I don't think I can, but I will try. I will take loans, if needed, to double it. I mean, how does Sweden get this many men? Actually, they are pretty big. Comparably speaking. But it's still a bit silly. Holy shit, 35,000 men. We killed so goddamn many of them. And unfortunately, we never really got our works also in down to begin with. Are they invading somewhere here? No? Good. I had to do a quick cut there as someone knocked on my door and I had to check out really what that was all about. And now we're back to fight Sweden, unfortunately. And they still have quite a few men after all they've been through. I think we need to focus on getting Sweden out and then... When the Germans come, we can handle them with full force. Unfortunately, the Swedish just keeps on sending more men. I don't know where they find everyone. Maybe they're all, you know, from Finland. Maybe. I mean, they do have Finland. They also have, well, most of Norway. So that's not very good. And uh, <laughs> crisis for Latvia wanting to get all their core states. No one's going to take them up on that. No one. What should happen? No one. No, no one. Most because the two great nations that would be any any way interested in it are in war with each other. So that's not very good. 
they are going to attack us, which is a good thing. I like that. That means we can defend, that means things can go better. Definitely a lot better than it would otherwise go. How many men do Sweden have left? They have 21 brigades left. And after they've lost this army, I'm sure they will barely have anyone else left. Yet now they have still 21. Okay, so we will redirect our forces to be prepared for the coming of the Germans. One in Danzig, we need to have people ready. And this is the British Union is willing to... Well, they want an alliance. Well, can we call you in? They will join us. Yes, excellent. Can we make use of their fleets? Well, they do have some fleets. But is it enough? Well, they have 35. And these have 30, so... Maybe the British fleet will be big enough. Who knows? Here we have Battle of Straits of Dover between Germany and South Africa. Interesting enough. It does seem like the South Africans are getting the beatdown. Which is very unfortunate. Maybe the British Union can come in and help. The British Empire and <laughs> the British Empire wants an alliance as well. Will you join us? They will accept. So now we have both the British on our side. Which is wonderful. Wonderful and interesting. The Confederation of Columbia? Hmm. And this is just awful. Holy shit. I shouldn't have looked over here. This is just... No, what are you doing? Quit in Mexico, give it up, give it up. Give it to the United States of America. Give it all up. Maybe they can... Oh, they are protecting us from, from the evils of Swedish naval supremacy. Does anyone have military access across here? Or is this all going to be, you know... How do you call it? We're not are we going to get anywhere in this war. Or did they declare war for the sake of having fun? It doesn't seem like they have military access either, so why the hell would they go for those objectives when they can't really force their way through? No one... I don't get why these guys hate us. Is it due to having the infamy before? Is that why? Because if so, I mean, we were the one helping you, that's got to count for more, really. At least I'd hope it would. But apparently not. Well, we can focus on some colonial matters in the meanwhile. I've noticed, oh god. The Russian Empire now has two places in Africa. i never seen Russia really take much of Africa, unless I play Russia myself. In those circumstances, then sure, I will see Russian Africa a little bit. But, you know, AI Russian Africa? Well, maybe this is usual for, for this play, for the mod, I don't know. I've never seen it before, though. France is requesting military acts. I will not give them to it. Give it to it. Give it to them. There we go. Words, sometimes. Have they lost their navy? They have 27 ships. The North German Federation has 26, and the Swedes have 23. So it does seem like the British are losing naval-wise, which is extremely unfortunate. How is the British Empire doing when it comes to ships? What the hell happened to Britain? They have no ships anymore. Neither the British Empire nor the British Union actually has any kind of power at sea. No wonder everything went to shit for them. Okay, so we will barely receive any help from them. Good to know. Good to know. We are five years away from the expansion of African co colonialism. So, I mean, there's not much we can do there to, to help out. Or to increase our position. We could go for stuff like increase the doctrine here for more naval bases. But we have too few ports really to put up a decent fleet. Can we get a victory here? Are they really landing troops with that few vessels? And they're all transports. Well, they landed 23,000 men in Malmö, so maybe they will be helpful. Probably not, considering the 39,000 
men strong army from Sweden intervening. So we can follow it and see how it goes. The Swedes are losing a number of men, but not a lot. No. That was a lost cause, really before it started. And no one is actually invading me. So, you know, this whole war thing is um, kind of a disappointment. I was expecting a war with the North German Federation to be much, much stronger than this. Much, much more threatening. I say that now, and then suddenly they will get military access somewhere and just kind of swoop in all at once. Maybe they even have military access, but they don't want to, to play their hand too fast. Maybe. Just maybe. Is it really any point in trying to improve our relations here? It's the infamy that's preventing the most. But we could, I mean, this not we're not doing anything else with our, with our dip uh, diplomatic points anyway. So we could increase our opinion with them. We are also getting the ticking war score soon. Oh, somewhat soon. That should help as well. And we won the battles against Sweden, but still we won the battles. So things are just going pretty well. I don't think we really need to worry too much. We can focus on other things, really. Demonstration turns sour. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go for that one instead. Any armies that need to be recruited? Not really. We are going to get some work exhaustion due to blockaded home ports, which we can't do anything about. That's what the Brits were supposed to do. Prevent that from happening. The Swedes actually have eight very, very strong ships as well. Like, well, actually, it looks like there's only regular regular vessels, regular old men of war, perhaps. But even men of war are stronger than the Commerce Raiders are. So I don't think these tiny few ships can do anything. Especially when the British Union has failed utterly and completely. So yeah, this is a stalemate. This is... Um, you know, 1940, or like 1939 on the Western Front. Nothing happening. Everyone quiet, waiting, expecting things to happen. Things that may or may not happen. Things that probably will not happen. But they're still expecting it, waiting. Nothing else they can do, nothing else they want to do. British Union still has this place. They don't have Corfu though. Corfu actually belongs to France. So that's interesting. Well, we can get some technologies here. We should probably focus more on industry, really. When we'll come to think about it. But Danzig needs to have a better port. So does Königsberg and Palenga. Palenga, I mean, always, always wrong. Suez and Alexandria and Raskarib and Kassair, Halaib and uh, Masava. Wonderful. And, oh, I almost forgot. We actually have two now. We have Luango and we have Boma. Excellent. So where's Brazzaville? Can we rename this to Brazzaville or something? And then we have Kinshasa, Kinshasa over here. Which has all kinds of people in it. I wonder what, you know, like Africa would look like politically if it had developed... Oh no, they have reached us. Holy shit, suddenly they are all over us. This is what I mentioned. Suddenly they got military access and now they are swarming in to our country. Okay, we will have to do it. Anyway, I, will, uh, I want to finish my thought. I wonder what Africa would look like if they had organically, organical, you know, political boundaries. That was developed through centuries of warfare and stuff like that, nation building, just like Europe. It would be interesting to see. Okay, we need to take a look here. They have Army Tech 20 out of 30. We have Army Tech. Wait. Army Tech 20 out of 30. So we are technologically the same, which is not good. Not good at all. We have no 
well, we have no advantage on that on that ground. We will primarily reinforce our existing perimeters, and this army is actually getting attacked or attacking rather. And the seventy thousand men that suddenly showed up out of freaking nowhere. Okay, mobilize is on on the route, and we will build army, all artillery in Europe because uh, we will need it, and lower speed. Suddenly they came out of nowhere. And they came en masse. So we will have to beat them back wherever possible. Hopefully they're actually reinforcing these key battles, which is both good and bad. Bromberg was a complete loss. And uh, this is not where we want to be. Definitely not. Why are we attacking here? Don't tell me it's because of the whole rebel thing. If so, I will be very, very disappointed. Okay, defending block. Block, 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 block. And uh, let's keep on getting away some of these guys. Can we s at some point actually retreat? To Allenstein. And then try to reach Warsaw. Warsaw, Warsaw, Warsaw. It's going well in Plock. We're binding up a lot of men there. And we have won some small victories. We Slovakia is being overrun currently by, by German troops. We should have mobilized way earlier. And oh, okay, so it's just people being being mobilized. Oh god, now suddenly there's 50,000 men here? When the hell? Okay, reinforce. It's not a bad battle. We are equal when it comes to leaders. And uh, all that is is uh, the dice rolls. Should be a victory. Once again, the enemy are pounding out so many men. So many men. It's hard to keep up. So very, very hard. It seems like we are winning pretty handsomely over here in the Skjernovitz. And in Plok, we are winning as well. However, everywhere else we are losing and we are losing hard. Holy shit, how did they have so many men? Well, it's Germany, really. I just, I just wish I had more friends. Krakow is a terrible loss, that's a lot of... A lot of people dead. Let's see, Bessemer process. At least we're winning against Skjernovitz, but we really need to get a handle of this situation. We need to start retaking areas. We need to start doing things. We need to take back... Okay, let's see. This, these ones can go and take back Bromberg. And uh, this army can go for Kalis as soon as the enemy is out. I mean, look at these men. Wherever we go, we are outnumbered. Heavily. Heavily outnumbered. Gniesmo, we need to have a war or battle here. To try to free it. But in every single province, they are overrunning us with men. A lot, a lot of men. This is not good, not bad. As I mentioned before, it was the, the calm before the storm that kind of just hit us. Suddenly they got military access through one of on one of our neighbors and uh, voila. Disruptive crap. They're still, we're still doing pretty decent overall in the war, but we need to get rid of some German troops. And that is very, very quickly. Because at the look of this, we won't really have much time left. And plus, we don't have the men. We are already at mobilizing capacity. And we are being... We can barely handle like three battles at the same time. And then they have five million more men on top of that. Can we reinforce that battle? No, we cannot. Apparently it was too late. 
Okay, in Bromberg we failed. By the looks of it. Can we do another attempt at Bromberg? They are sending apparently more men to Plock. We almost got hit in a trap here in Bromberg. What about in Lodz? If we can lure people into Lodz, could that be useful? Could we use that opportunity? Apparently here we are being outnumbered as well. Which is really what always happens. And we can't really go back here. How many men do we have? We don't really have many more men, do we? Huh. Taking a look here. Here we have losses. Here we are kind of winning, maybe. Here we are fighting, and in Plock we are outnumbered. In Torren we do have some men. But there's no way we can actually keep up with the Germans in this pace. The only way would be, be to get an alliance with stuff like France or whatnot. Or actually have, you know, the British Union help out. That would also be pretty good. Ah, uh, see, 24,000 men dead. In Calis, we did win, but it's narrow, and there's 42,000 men. We can't really challenge 42,000 men there. In Krakow, however, we could challenge that. That would be a feasible thing to do. But we have already lost half of our country, and the other half is under severe stress. Po we're going to lose uh, Warsaw fairly soon, unless we pu push, pull back the guys in Turin, which are now suddenly getting attacked by a force that is, you know, outnumbering them. So that is not really a, a possibility. We could go back with the troops from Lodz, but now Warsaw is dead, so there's really very little point in doing that. And, uh, I mean, seriously, what, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? This is uh, a bad day for the Commonwealth. A horrible day. And here in Torun, we are getting slaughtered. So, you know, the North German Federation, they are going to get their demands. There's no way we can keep up. Poland, Lithuania won't be able to keep up. We are stretched too thin. We have no allies. And allies we have, they can't really help out. And now we have militant socialists. And that will actually help, funnily enough. That will be good. They will have to deal with... They will deal with um, the Germans. The Germans will have to deal with them, rather. So, in this case, it's a good thing. In Plock, things are going... Well, I guess. Oh, Galicia, Lord Maria. Um, yeah, we barely have men. Summarization. How many men do we have? These are all the armies that are left. All very, very tired. All exhausted. None of them can really get what they need. Uh, we should probably... Okay, we got done with Plock. In the last 207,000 men in Plock. That is a lot of men. A lot of men. But it won't be enough. It definitely won't be enough. So we will uh, send aid to Warsaw. Really? What, what the hell happened? We will send aid to Warsaw. Here we go. We will have to hold Warsaw. It's uh, the most important part. It shouldn't really be going that badly against just these silly rebels. As long as they kill some Germans, it will be good for the greater, the greater whole. And now, with this is actually the only army that we have left. It's the Polish Defense Army. I will uh, go and uh, take out Plock again. Perhaps we will succeed, perhaps we won't. But Warsaw will have to stand. It's the last stand of the Polish. This is, um, you know, like yeah, 1939 all over again. Holy shit! That's not good. I mean, come on! 
silly rebels. You were supposed to aid us, not destroy us. Come on. Don't do this to me. We could feasibly, you know, just uh, demobilize and remobilize again. That could be an option. It's a pretty bad option, all things considered, but it's an option. We are at 30, minus 30%. 30 they would not go for a white piece. Would they go for just having Vest Poison? No, they will only go for both, which is not acceptable in the current situation. Who knows? Miracles might happen. Miracles can happen. Franz, help us. No, you hate us. You hate us. Russian Empire, help us. No, they hate us. Austria, no, you absolutely hate us, and I understand that completely. So now we're down to 72,000 men defending Poland. How's it going in the rest of Africa? I mean, <laughs> in the rest of Poland, Lithuania. Not good, not good. At least we would have Africa left. That's true, we would lose almost all of our coast, but we would, we would win in the end. And that's all that matters, is the victory. We will defend Poland, we will defend Warsaw, I mean. For as long as we can. No matter the cost. No matter the cost. Our war exhaustion is through the roof. We already had a very bad starting position at the start of the war. And uh, things that have happened haven't really improved. The British Union are ferrying over troops to Sweden, of all places. So... Oh god! Thank Lord on a heaven above. God does exist and this is the proof of this. I mean, sure, I, I... You know, you know, you know. This is a bit of AI silliness, to be fair. But... White peace from the German Federation. Perhaps it is the, the British. I mean, the British did land over here. And uh, it scared the bejesus out of... The North Germans, clearly. Uh, so, you know, I will take this white piece, North German Federation, and I will be very, very thankful for it. This is... Um, if anyone remembers, this is Frederick the Great. Who, is this the Seven Years' War? This is something like that. Where Prussia was losing quite heavily to a coal coalition of uh, pretty much everyone else. And then uh, the Queen of Russia died. And the new king was like, yeah, let's have peace. And it was like the, the miracle that, that saved Prussia, that saved, well, the Prussian existence, essentially. And this is pretty much it. I would imagine that the Queen of North Korean Federation, or whichever the hell they want, the Empress, what, what, whatever you want to call it, died and the new leader was, you know, from Pol Poland originally. It was like, yeah, sure. I mean, we like you. We will, we will let you be. So we thank you for that. We do thank you for that. We have no men left though. This, is, this has been horrible. Poland seems to keep having these sort of situations constantly. And now we will have to act quickly. We have so many goddamn rebels in our country that would want to do all kinds of things. What do they want? Minimum wage. Sure, we will give them acceptable minimum wage. Just calm the hell down, please. We will, we will be quiet, we will be nice, just disarm, go back home, calm down, calm down everyone, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, calm down, go home. Oh god. Yeah, um, so that will be the end of that war. I <laughs> Holy shit. A very intense war, from nothing to everything, zero to hero, you could call it, if you would, you know, do... Um, is it not, it's not Aladdin reference, it's a Hercules reference from the Disney movie, Hercules. Zero to hero, that's definitely the death war, and AI being goddamn stupid was the savior of it all. That could have gone to hell, and then the AI decided, hey, you know, white peace, sounds reasonable right now, we crushed you completely, you have almost no supplies left, you have no morale, your work sourcing is through the roof, you have no control of your country except for your capital, you know, this seems like a good place to just take a white piece, right? So yeah, I thank you, North German Federation AI, for that. Anyway, this will be it for this episode. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one.